Aye, 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 aye. Cut us down, man, you multiply I don't care, man, I'm fly to you Air Jordans while I take flight That was a line from back in the day Big up, Gershom, we'll be doing fine Aye, aye, where the time go? Bye-bye to my old flow Risky, I'm like Hey, y'all, it's Saturday um, I'm headed to the gym I decided to get, like, an early day today because I haven't I started a new job and I haven't worked out all week I, I worked out like Monday and Tuesday but for the rest of the week I did not work out so I feel some sort of way about that and because it's like a new schedule for me I haven't been eating consistently either so on Monday, I'm starting something new, but I'll talk to you guys more about that once I come from the gym. But I just wanted to check in with you guys. Don't mind the underarms. I just wanted to check in with you guys and say good morning. How you doing? How you feeling? How you living? Are you even up at this hour? It's like almost seven. But... The early bird gets the worm is an old bus right <laughs> so i want to show you guys um my gym clothes so yeah this is um my gym clothes i got my j sculpt belt on because my i don't really do ab workout i'm gonna start but my lower pooch is not going anywhere I have these leggings from Fashion Nova. They fit pretty snug. I like them. And then this um, sports bra is from Fashion Nova as well. I'm probably going to put on my Harachis and call it a day. But yeah, that's, um, that's what I have on. See, when you come to the gym early, there's nobody here. Look. Empty. Yes. That's how I like it. Like I was saying, with, I know I've spoken to you guys before about my health journey. It has been like a roller coaster. Like, I'll admit it. It has not been consistent in the least. And with a health journey, you have to be consistent and you also have to want it. And to be honest, I did want it, but I was just lazy. Like, I'm a foodie, so I made these excuses like, okay, well, if I eat what I want, but be not not having such a big portion, it would be chill. Or if I go to the gym and bust my ass, then, oh, I could eat whatever I want. Some people are fortunate to do that. <laughs> Your girl, on the other hand, is not. So I had to realize what my body allowed and what my body could do and then I also got in the mindset of like okay honestly Shay why are you doing this are you doing this to just fit into society standard of beauty and society standard of this are you doing this to like impress somebody what are you actually doing this for and I really had to sit down and like figure that part out because like there was something that was just not clicking. You feel what I'm saying? Like I just was keep starting, keep starting and not finishing. So finally, um, finally I decided that this is something that I actually want to do. I actually want to be serious about my health I want to be serious about um, uh, my my fitness. I want to be serious about everything, not only because it in the long run it's beneficial. Yo, these rolls in my neck. I swear, when I wear this uh, this uh, sweatband, 
it like pushes everything up and like it pushes up my neck too but anyways that's beside the point I just want to be more comfortable in the skin that I am and that's what it boils down to I'm gonna start crying because it's just the truth like everybody could tell you that you're beautiful everybody could tell you that you look good but if you truly don't believe it then it doesn't matter and that was a problem with me like everybody would say Shannon you're gorgeous your body is good like Da, da, da. I would angle right so you would think that that's, you know what I'm saying? If you know how to angle or you know how to edit, uh, you're mad close to my car. My God. Sorry. Um, but yeah. So, yeah, it was, it's just an emotional thing for me. And my, YouTube is almost like my personal blog. So, YouTube for me has come a long way because when I started YouTube, I was in a bad place, like mentally in a bad place. Like, I'll tell you guys, like I wanted to kill myself. Um, I just was not happy. I just turned to food. So I just started gaining like mad weight. I just not, I was just not dealing with people. So then my YouTube started with me just like singing on it and like cooking. And then people started asking me about my lock. So then I transitioned it into more of a lock um, hair channel. But now I'm growing. You guys know my age. I, my birthday just passed. And yes, I still enjoy lock videos. But I do have a life outside of that. And... I want to include you guys in it. You guys are my family, you know what I mean? So my channel is is more gearing into lifestyle, which includes everything. And this is a major part of that. And I don't want to um, leave it out. Not only because I want to share with y'all, but because I want something to look back on to see where I started and where I am now and are going to be. So back to the fitness, because I feel like I'm rambling. But if you guys understand what I'm saying, l drop a comment in the comment box below. I just Hey Tiger Lilies, listen, so you made it this far, you might as well just hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, click that bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Because you know, sometimes your girl be going MIA. Okay, back to the video. Bye. Just decided like... Fam, it's time. You're not getting any younger. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting any younger. Life is like hard as it is. Um, you you and I just have to now take control of my life, take the wheels, and not have anybody else stir the wheels and not depend on anybody else. But I need to depend on myself. So I decided to do, um, I've been working out consistently. I've been trying my best to eat more better. And I've been seeing changes. But my weight still kind of goes up and down. So because I want to see um, a more of a significant change. And my aunt and a few other people in my family have had diabetes. I don't want that. That's another reason why um, and I had a diabetes scare. And then you guys know I had that kidney, those kidney uh, issues. So a lot has, you would think, would put me in the right direction. But I just mentally was not ready, folks. Like, you have to be mentally ready. Um, you have to be mentally ready. And I feel like right now I finally have reached that point. Like, I had... A talk with God and the universe and I started writing down my goals I spoke with my mom and I'm realizing like what it is and yeah so on Monday um it'll be July 17th I'm gonna do a eight week cut which means uh cutting means get more lean and bulk means to add more muscle so I'm gonna do a eight week cut which means I'm not doing any sugar, I mean any sweets like cakes and candy and stuff and ice cream. Because I'm a fiend for sweets. Like, 
a fiend, son. And and no carbs, which I barely eat, so that wouldn't be... Well, I eat rice and pasta, so... Yeah, that's gonna be tragic. But I'm not gonna second-guess myself, because this is something that I want to do. And um, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I don't know if I'm gonna do uh, food things, but I mean, I'll show you what I'm eating. But like, if you guys want to see cooking videos, I'll I'll be happy to do that. But I don't feel like it's gonna be that entertaining because of what I'll be eating. But that would actually, if you want to see it, let let me know because that would challenge me to be more creative with healthy foods instead of the typical uh, chicken breasts and brown rice. Like that is why people fall off of healthy food because who the hell want to sit there eating chicken? And brown rice and broccoli every day. Fam, no. Nobody does that. Oh, I just have to be more consistent and more um, militant in what my goals are so that I can accomplish them. I have a set goal by the end of these eight weeks, will be, which will be like September 10th, I believe. So basically all summer. Which is fine because if you could go all summer and be really crucial about what you're doing, you can survive. Because you know summertime is when the parties and the cookouts and all that stuff is. Which I'm still going to go to, but I'm going to be more conscious of what I eat and stuff like that. I'm not going to OD. And I really haven't been drinking, so that's fine. Um, But yeah, Anyways, this video is longer than... <laughs> I intended it to be, and I'm probably, my lazy ass is probably not going to edit. Y'all know how Essence of Shade do. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, if you enjoy, why are these people driving so close to my car, fam? I'm parked. Like, it's a whole street. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the curb.